Okay, now they want to know about the electric potential due to this spherical insulator. And um, normally we set zero to be at infinity, but here they're doing something special. They're setting zero right here at the edge of it, of the insulator. And then they want to know the potential difference out a little further away at um, r equals 5 centimeters. So we'll just go back to our definition of the electric potential. It's going to be the integral minus the integral of e dot dl. Um, so this is the potential difference. And in this case here, I'll be going from um, starting at 2.5, the surface, and going to 5 centimeters. So we can go ahead. Now, I just want to check the sign to make sure I get it right. Since this has a positive charge, you know the electric field lines are going to point radially outward. And so those point downhill. So I'm going to expect my answer to have a negative number since zero is at the surface, and then I'm going downhill from there. So I'll just get rid of A and B here just to get started. Now I don't have to worry about that sign. So let's continue on. I have the integral from 2.5 to 5. And the electric field here is just kq over r squared dr. So when I integrate that, 2.5 is 5. I get kq over r. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, the integral is done, so I get kq over r between 5 centimeters and 2.5 centimeters. Again, I'm being very sloppy with the minus sign because I know the answer is negative. And so I can rewrite this. This is going to be equal to k, which is 9 times 10 to the 9th, q, which is 8 times 10 to the minus 10. And then I have 1 over r, so I have 1 over. And again, I want to put this in meters, so 5 times 10 to the minus 2 minus 1 over 2.5 times 10 to the minus 2. And when I plug all those numbers in, amazingly, I get a negative 144 volts out, as expected.